Hello, fifth graders. Happy Monday. We are starting a brand new unit in math this week, and we are going to start working with fractions. And the first thing we're going to learn about fractions is how to interpret them as division. Now, I want you to think to yourself, what could that possibly mean? And there's a, quite a few division symbols on the screen right now, and I want you to think, are fractions the same thing as division? Well, I'm here to tell you that they are the same. And our target for today and the rest of this week really is that you can understand and explain that fractions represent division equations or division problems. Um, so if we go back actually to that first slide and we look at a division equation or a division symbol, the two dots below that middle line are the numerator and denominator. And that middle line is the fraction line. So a division symbol really is telling us that we're creating a fraction. All right, so today we're gonna make this a little bit more interactive. You should have your math journal from when you picked up your belongings from school last week. So I want you to get your math journal or a piece of paper out, a pencil and an eraser probably. All right, so we are just gonna dive right in. And I want you to, on a blank page in your math journal or on your piece of paper, I want you to imagine you have two crackers in front of you. And I want you to draw two one inch squares to represent the two crackers. You can be, or you can estimate the size of these crackers. They don't have to be exactly an inch. Um, if you really wanna get picky, you can measure them. All right, so here are my crackers. Mine are not exactly an inch, but they're gonna do just fine. All right, once you've got your crackers drawn, I want you to share these crackers equally between two imaginary people. And once you've done that, I want you to look and see how many crackers did you give each person? How did you split them up between the two people? I'm willing to bet you probably just said, well, this cracker goes to person one and this cracker goes to person two. Problem solved. So how many crackers did each person get? One cracker, right? Person number one got the red circled cracker. Person number two got the green uh, circled cracker. Pretty straightforward. But how can we write this situation as a math equation? I want you to write down your guess in your journal right now. Don't just sit there and wait and stare at the screen. What? equation do you think represents what we just did? Two crackers divided by two people. Hmm, did I just tell you? That's right, we did two crackers divided by two people equals one cracker per person, which is basically two divided by two equals one. All right, does that look like a fraction to you? Probably not yet. But what do you notice about this equation? One divided by three equals one third. Does that make sense? Let's take a look at a picture. So we have a rectangle, let's say, and it's one whole rectangle. And we need to divide that rectangle into three equal groups. So I'm gonna take some lines and split this rectangle into three equal groups or three equal parts. So now I have three parts to one whole rectangle. That means I have one third one third and one third in each section. So when I split one whole rectangle into three equal groups, each group is going to be one third of that original rectangle size. Make sense so far? That's probably a pretty straightforward one that you're familiar with from last year. But what about this equation? Three thirds divided by three equals one third. Well, if I look at my picture up here, it says, the equation says three thirds, and my picture has one, two, three thirds. So my picture represents three thirds already. I'm not gonna draw a new one. And then it says three thirds divided into three groups. Okay, so here are my groups, group one, group two, and group three. And it says they equal one third. Huh? Okay, let's see. So. I'm dividing three thirds into three equal groups. So I must just need to go like this and split off my thirds and give each group one third. Oh, okay, so three thirds divided into three equal groups 
equals one third for each group. So these equations look very different when you first look at them, but they actually produce the same results. This is because three thirds equals three over three, which is a fraction, which really equals one whole. So three thirds here in our second equation is the exact same thing as to, is one whole. So these are really the exact same equation. Pretty tricky, but I want you to keep that in mind for later. All right, so now I want you to imagine that there is only one cracker to share between two people. So we're back in our math journals and you're going to draw a one inch square to represent one cracker. If you need to go to a new page so that you don't get your work mixed up, that's fine. Here is my one inch square for my one cracker that's getting shared between two people. All right, is your cracker drawn? Okay. So now I need you to share this cracker between two people and you need to do this in your math journal right now. Okay, so I'm gonna take my cracker and I'm gonna share it between two people by breaking it in half. And just for the sake of my own personal um, liking, I'm labeling each half so I know which half goes to which person. So person one gets the left side and person two gets the right side of the cracker. All right, so how much does each person get? Hopefully you just thought or said each person gets one half of a cracker because we split that cracker right down the middle and person one got half of it and, the, and person two got half of it. What is our equation that would represent this situation? Just like last time, I want you to take a second and write down the, the equation you think represents sharing this one cracker between two people equally. All right, hopefully you wrote something like one cracker divided by or divided between two people equals one half per person or one divided by two equals one half. I'm going to challenge you for a second and I want you to think how could I make this equation look like the equation we just finished or the two equations we just finished talking about on the previous slide. I could also say that two over two divided by two equals one half because two over two is the exact same thing as one whole. All right. Oh, in nice and word form, two over two equals two halves, which equals one whole. So our two halves put together equals one whole cracker. All right, last problem. We're gonna take three crackers and now we need to share them equally between two people. So same two people, but this time they get to split three crackers between them equally. So you need to draw three crackers to represent, or three squares, excuse me, to represent the three crackers. Just like last time, if you need to start a new page, that's okay. All right. Once your three squares are drawn, I want you to brainstorm and share the crackers equally between two people. If you need to pause the video to give yourself time to think about this, that is okay. I'm going to count down from five in my head, but I want you to pause if you need more time. All right. Hopefully you paused if you needed the more, more time, but otherwise, if I were to share these crackers equally between two people, here's what I would do. I would give person one the first cracker, person two the second cracker, and then I would take our third cracker and, come on, split it in half, and just like I did at the, with the last problem, and give person one one half and person two the other half. All right. So that's how my brain thought about it. You might have thought about it a different way because there is more than one way to solve this problem. That's okay, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. All right, but using this way to think about it, how many crackers will each person get? Hopefully you thought that each person will get one and a half crackers because we've got person one gets a whole and a half and person two gets one whole plus one half. What equation will represent this math? By now, you probably recognize it's going to be a division equation. 
what was our number that we were splitting apart, and how many groups do we need to make? Write this down in your journal. Hopefully you thought that we had three crackers and we needed to share them equally between two people. So we did three divided by two, which equals one and a half crackers per person. Or we could get really tricky and think six halves divided by two equals three halves per person. Hold on a second. Three divided by two is the same as six halves divided by two? What in the world? All right, let's talk about that one. So six halves divided by two equals three halves per person. Well, let's look at this picture. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six halves of crackers. Three whole crackers, six halves, because I've cut each one in half. And then I've kept them labeled, and person one gets a half. Oh, let's go this way, sorry. So we've got our pupil down here. And person one is gonna get a half from each cracker. And then person two is gonna get a half from each cracker. And you can see that person one has three arrows going to him. And person two has two arrows going to her, or three arrows going to her, excuse me. So each person gets three halves of a cracker. Interesting. Oh, we already talked about it. So how many cracker or how many halves does Mr. Green get? Three halves. And how many crackers, cracker halves does Ms. Purple get? Three halves. So you can see here that six halves divided by two equals three halves gives us the same result as uh, three divided by two equals one and a half because doesn't two halves of a cracker equal one whole cracker? plus one more half. All right, I want you to keep that in your brain for the practice we do today. So to wrap up, a fraction is simply a division problem. We take a whole amount and we divide that amount into a certain number of pieces or a certain number of groups. And remember that the whole doesn't always have to be one. In our examples today, our whole was two crackers, then one cracker, and finally three crackers. So we had three whole crackers to split up into groups with our last problem. It wasn't always just one cracker. All right, I want you guys to get to work on our math practice for today. Uh, please let me know if any of this was, it was confusing for you. I'm more than happy to help, um, but otherwise go forth and conquer. Um, do awesome and keep making me proud and making yourself proud. Happy Monday.